Well, it's, uh, it's an early morning. I uh, went to the gym early, and on my way back, I thought, wow, what a beautiful sky. What a beautiful morning. Oh, yeah, guess what? I have a drone now. So I thought that I'd come out and give it another little, there's me right there, another little testy test. So today, I tested a little bit more range, and uh, I guess it's dynamic range capabilities. So let's check out some of that footage. So one of the biggest things that I noticed today is that I was able to get over, uh, I believe it was 1,200 feet away, which may not seem like a lot to most of you Mavic owners, but for Spark, especially compared to yesterday where I got it about 800 feet away and started to lose some serious um, transmission signal, um, I got it to 1,200 feet today and it was still rock solid. And that may be because, I mean, if you look around, it's it's pretty clear. However, we do have some power lines, which I think did interfere with uh, some of the signal. Um, as you can see in, well, I guess you can't, but uh, in one of the clips, I go right through the power lines. And it seemed like as I was doing that, I started to lose uh, some transmission, uh, some of the signal, which was uh, scary to say the least, but it made it out fine. Uh, and I was very happy about that. Looking at some of the uh, differences between um, how dark it was here in the uh, in the grass while I was going and still handle how bright the sky is. I was um, very impressed. All of the footage that you're looking at right now is unedited. Um, as in I didn't uh, color correct the image at all. It's just straight out of camera right into um, being exported for you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm very happy with it. All of the uh, modes were in automatic. I didn't adjust any of the settings. I just wanted to see how the camera would handle um, the lighting situations on its own. And I think that it did fairly well. Maybe it's a bit underexposed, but uh, I mean, with practice, it can uh, it can only get better. One thing I will say about the flight time is that um, I have I have two batteries. I got the Fly More package. And right now, as much fun as it is to fly the drone, like I'm satisfied, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Meaning that uh, the battery life wasn't as big of an issue as everybody thinks that it is. Um, sure, I'm close. Sure, I'm not going six miles away. Um, so I was able to come back, uh, put in a new battery, and then set it off again. But again, um, for my needs, I, I thought that it was wonderful. I thought that the battery life is, is more than fine for me. So one of the things that I also tried out was uh, one of the panorama modes. So I will put that photo here. Uh, so essentially, I just went up. Um, saw a beautiful sky, took a photo, and thought, oh yeah, I'm going to try out this panorama mode to get something much larger. Um, one real quick thing that I'm going to say about the panorama mode is that uh, when you do it, this uh, the drone will go up and take the nine photos. Uh, it'll be full res, but then when the DJI Go app stitches them all together, uh, then the final product comes out to be only 2,000 pixels wide by 1,200 pixels tall so it's a much smaller version and usually it'll be okay for social media but if you really want a larger photo um, full size then you're gonna have to you know stitch it together in Photoshop or Lightroom or something like that so you tell me how it is what do you think what do you think that's it for today. This was Raymond from the Beginner Photography Podcast. If you like the video, feel free to um, let me know below. Subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any questions about the Spark, I would love to um, handle those as well. I'd love to help you out. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great day and be safe.